one to everyone. Um, so please take your seats. Um, it's very nice to see you all here for this uh, day. Uh, very nice to see uh, many people um, that you know uh, from different organizations, from the City of Beauty, for example, for a particular reason, for, from the other organizations that are acting here in the north of Munich um, to try to preserve the development landscape from the HSVT. It's very nice to see um, members, um, which shows that we have a very good relationship at our level. And um, uh, so, and very nice, of course, also to see many students. It's very nice to see also uh, representatives from the Ministry of Environment and uh, Consumer Protection here. So, um, thank you all for coming, and I hope that you will enjoy the day. And perhaps now I very quickly change to German. Nur zu erklären, aber das wissen Sie hoffentlich auch alle. Also wir werden heute den Vormittag auf Englisch, in englischer Sprache bestreiten und dann am Nachmittag äh, das Programm auf Deutsch fortsetzen. Das hat nicht äh, pädagogische Absichten, ähm, also, äh, sondern es hat ganz einfach den Grund, dass wir dieses Projekt, äh, ein Projekt hatten, da werde ich auch gleich noch dazu ein paar Worte verlieren, ähm, das zum Abschluss gekommen ist. Und diese Tagung heute baut auf diesem Projekt auf, oder das war der Anlass für diese Tagung hier. Und ähm, da sind auch heute ähm, Leute mit dabei, die eben in dem Projekt aktiv waren, äh, aus verschiedenen Ländern. Und deswegen müssen wir zumindest vormittags, oder wollen wir zumindest vormittags, es auf Englisch halten, sodass jeder verstehen kann, äh, was wir hier gerade erzählen. And um, how many did not understand what I just said now? Okay. <laughs> it was not very <laughs> so so um, nevertheless we will continue in English. <laughs> and uh, good. I, I all I want to do now very briefly is to uh, introduce very much the background of today and then I hand over also because we are um, a little bit late already, running late. I will not spend too much time on that and I uh, hope that then uh, over the day also the different themes that we want to address with this um, conference will become clear anyway. And the project that we had and that just came to an end also with a very nice uh, celebration yesterday in Munich, um, organized by the city of Munich, who was the coordinator of that project. The project was called Los Dama. Um, this is not Spanish, but it's Bavarian. Uh, Los Derma, and that means, okay, get on, let's do it. And um, the project is, was funded by the Interact program, and uh, all of those that know the Interact program know that uh, this is a program about strengthening the uh, cooperation, the regional cooperation, and by region they mean there that it is in particular between the countries that are located in one region or the, the, the provinces that are located in a certain geographic region. And in this case, it was the Alpine region. That is the countries, seven countries around the Alps. And um, the topic of this was about uh, how to promote the um, development and implementation of green infrastructure. Um, and Interact program, uh, projects are always very applied. That is also, so it's not a pure research, um, research project, but it is rather the other way around. Researchers are also invited to participate, so to say, but the leading role should be uh, taken by uh, practitioners from local authorities or other organizations. And uh, this is very much focused really on making a move forward to, to make things happen. And um, we call this conference today Connecting People, Knowledge and Regions. And these are the three guiding themes that we have in this, uh, in this project, so to say. Um, we were concerned with the landscapes and open spaces in Alpine metropolitan areas. And when one thinks about the Alps, of course, usually you have in mind uh, mountains. We can see them here in the background very nicely today. And, um, you think about maybe walking in the mountains, enjoying the nature and so on. But in fact, the Alps are also very heavily populated. There are many towns uh, in the Alps, 
smaller ones and bigger ones, a lot of infrastructures in the Alps, and it is heavily used, the Alps are of course also heavily used. And um, we were not concerned about the, um, the, the, these very spectacular landscapes that one usually thinks about when, when uh, looking at the Alps or going into the Alps, but we were looking at the landscapes, the everyday landscapes that are surrounding the urban areas. Uh, like here, just where we are, and if you look outside, that was one of our study areas. So the north of Munich and the west of Munich and the southeast, uh, southwest of Munich. Um, these are the areas that are in front of the Alps still, and where uh, many people live, and they have demands on that landscape, they want to recreate, they want also to live in a beautiful landscape, they want to enjoy nature, etc., and have clean air and so on. And um, uh, this was our focal area. How can we contribute with developing green infrastructure to address some of the particular challenges of these metropolitan areas? This is a view, by the way, if I'm not completely wrong, on Grenoble. Um, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the biggest city in the Alps, and that is really located inside the Alps. But the uh, Interact project, uh, this uh, definition of the Alpine region is broader. It also includes cities outside the Alps. And overall, we had seven cities included. Um, uh, I, I don't list them now all, uh, but um, you can, uh, you, you will maybe hear of some of the examples that we have in the course of the day. Um, the bigger cities mostly that we looked at. And uh, so it was about the ordinary uh, landscapes, and we wanted to help to develop uh, new approaches and strategies for the conservation and improvement of natural and cultural assets of these so-called peri-urban landscapes, so the landscapes surrounding these big cities. And the challenges there are, of course, very big, um, and we hope that uh, this idea of green infrastructure can help to address some of these challenges successfully. This term, green infrastructure, uh, has uh, come up a uh, long time ago now already. It means a kind of strategic planning approach to the open spaces and green spaces in a certain area to develop a network of natural and semi-natural and designed um, areas. So it's not only about the high value nature, but it's also about farmland, normal farmland, it's about public green spaces in cities, and so on. And um, what one hopes, of course, to achieve with such strategy is that uh, this kind of um, network will deliver broad spectrum of benefits to society, not only ecological, but also social and also economic benefits. That's the, the big vision, and uh, we had been involved ourselves in a big project a uh, European funded project where we further develop the concept of green infrastructure for urban areas and with many case studies and so on. But with the Interact project now, the ambition was really that uh, one would move further on to say how can we do it and, and can we make some progress uh, that is vi either visible in the landscape or visible in the mind of the planners and all the other stakeholders that are involved. Uh, so that it will trigger a kind of process into the future. Uh, yeah, these are the seven cities that we had, and uh, you see, I, I will not list them now. Um, plus one observer city, I should also say, so in reality it was a bit more. And um, the three terms, just to say that, yeah, what are the challenges in such peri-urban landscapes? I would say with one, with one word, and I really don't have the time, for saying much more, it's fragmentation. It's fragmentation in many different respects, uh, political fragmentation. Look at the city of Munich and its surrounding region. You have one city and you have, I think if I'm right, 98 municipalities surrounding it. Uh, imagine how you want to bring them together into some, some kind of coherent development. Um, uh, that is a very big challenge, but you have many more stakeholders. You have the landowners, you have um, many organizations acting in such landscapes and the people themselves, of course. So this was, the, the idea of this Interact project was to increase, uh, to improve connecting people, um, in particular to strengthen intermunicipal cooperation. That was the main hope of this project. Um, 
connecting knowledge um, to bring together different sectors in administration, to bring together the sciences with practice uh, and to come to a kind of transdisciplinary working mode and uh, for also to learn from practice, from already good examples that have been developed in one place and to think about how to transfer this to another place uh, so to exchange between the regions, of course, that was very important by connecting knowledge and connecting people also. That's the overall purpose, of course, of interact projects. Yeah, connecting regions. And connecting regions means uh, between the seven or eight places around the Alps and in the Alps, and, uh, but also enhancing the connectivity between the urban, the rural and the peri-urban uh, landscapes that are somehow in between. Um, uh, and, uh, and that on different and, and also very important for such a project was also to connect, so to say, vertically, not only horizontally, uh, between uh, local levels or regional level thinking and the European national and European level thinking. Um, the Rostama project was also very active at this high level, so um, results from the project. Uh, were taken up or uh, communicated to USALP, uh, which is a um, strategy for the, or an organization to develop a strategy for the Alpine region at, at, as a whole for, and in this case, for green infrastructure. So I leave it with that and um, uh, try to go to the program so that we can finally make a start. Um, we have thought that we would try to cover uh, in directly or indirectly today with this more scientifically oriented uh, conference, at least in the first half it's, it's more the scientific speakers that uh, come to the forefront, although they certainly have a lot of experience in, in particular in these issues and how to work with uh, people. Um, and, uh, but uh, the morning is in this English spoken session is about um, the, the scientific speakers that we invited. First, Professor Dr. Paul Ottlam. We are very glad that you are here. Uh, coming from uh, the Netherlands, from Wachning, and uh, he will talk about green infrastructure and landscape benefits, how information enhances collaboration, so we will deal on that topic. Then, uh, Professor Dr. Mark Lady from our own university, um, who is on his way, hopefully, <laughs> and not stuck in the traffic. Um, developing city regions, sustainable development of peri urban landscapes. Then, two members of the Bostama team also. Um, we are very glad that you are also presenting here, Dr. Sara Tavaggiotti and Giovanni Lurici. Hmm? Ah, okay. Uh, no time to discuss that. <laughs> Um, learning from practice, trend to cultural com commons, city innovation and development through mutual exchange between research planning and design. That's the morning session and we will introduce the afternoon session later um, when we have the other speakers, but only for the morning. And uh, um, finally, I would just like to say, before I, then I hand over to uh, Martina, um, it, um, uh, at my chair it was Martina uh, van Lierop, uh, who organized the entire thing. And um, it was a great pleasure um, to, uh, to have you here for organizing this, but also generally. You are I just want to say you are a fantastic person and I thank you so much for, for doing all this hard work, bringing uh, here this uh, conference into being. Thank you very much. And there are, of course, many helpers standing in the, uh, in the background, student helpers, other members of the study faculty who helped to organize such a meeting. So also thank you to all of you. And um, the only thing that I did really, in, in, apart from taking your time here, is uh, to organize the weather. So <laughs> that's all I did. I hope you will enjoy the day. <laughs>